Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blue Moon Podcast. Now, a couple of things to get into before we get into what we're about to talk about. Um, first of all, I want to start out with the fact that uh, you're seeing us on Anchor. And if this is the first time that you're seeing this podcast, you may be a bit confused because this is the fifth episode of season two. Um, now, to put all the confusion aside, basically, the Blue Moon Podcast is a podcast I like. I I I, I talk about stuff, and I you know I I have segments. Uh, and I didn't have segments before, but now I am having segments. Um, but to put it short and simple, um, the Blue Moon Podcast started um, a few years ago on Spreaker. And then we moved it to YouTube for Season 2. And um, now it's on Anchor. Um, and I'm still thankful to Anchor for letting me have this platform i you know i i honestly feel like since youtube is such like it's it's so limited on what you can do on youtube now i feel like this i can talk about whatever i want to talk about of course you know having it be within the rules of anchor um but you know it's 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 really nice that i'm able to to have this podcast come back for more episodes. So thank you to Anchor for that. Um, now let's get into um, some things. Uh, I, I had a list written down of stuff, but I keep forgetting to, you know, to bring that list with me um, when I do these recordings. So, um, so basically we're gonna have a few segments. The first segment is what has what is happening in my life um so it's not really an update it's just like i'll i'll tell like a story of um of what um has been going on or not what has been on but like what has happened in my life in the past you know like maybe there's like a story that i want to tell um and i think that'd be great um so we'll, we'll start out with our weekly story. And for today's weekly story, we will um, we'll be going back a couple of years, but I would say about a year ago. About a, about, about a year ago, I would say. Uh, my mom and I were going shopping before we moved, and it was still... It, it was still snowy out, and um, we were going shopping because we lived like right next to like a big town, uh, and it wasn't it like wasn't like a huge city, but it was just like a, a decent sized city, and um, <clears throat> and so as we were going there, um, she forgot to um, she forgot to. Uh, do the, like, you know how, like, you have to clean your windshield, you know, and then it's snowing, because then it will get, like, if you don't, then it'll get stuck to your car, that's, that's what, you know, and so, um, we forgot to, uh, to get one of the, like, to get under the, uh, the, windshield wipers on one of them we did the other one but there was one that we didn't do and we, that we forgot about and she she thought that it was going to be okay and you know i'm like okay and um so we're just driving and she's she's on the phone and and she's she's just driving and she turns on her windshield wipers to wipe off the rest of the snow and the the one that got stuck just flew straight up in the air. <laughs> Fell right on our car, like on the top of our car. And, <laughs> and this is like a miracle of the story because like this this was like really funny. Um and and we're we're just like <laughs> we're just like what the fuck? 
<laughs> and um, so, like, you know, he, we're we're just driving, trying to find it, everything. And the next thing I know, it slides down right next to me, and um, and like like it's like it, it just slid down on the car, <laughs> and and we're just like, oh look, there it is, and I, you know, and you know, we thought that it slid down and fell, and <laughs> so <laughs> so we. Um, so we went, um, to the, the nearest gas station, and, uh, <laughs> and we, um, we tried, you know, like, we, like, I, I, I opened the door, and it fell on the ground, and so it stayed there for a good amount of time, I would say. And, and, like, I just start laughing, and it, I don't know, there was something about that that was just really funny, and, like, I, I think that's, like, the perfect way to, um, start off this episode with, you know, with having something to, to laugh about. Um, and I'm, and I'm glad that now it's, like, out in the open, because I've been wanting to tell people this for a long time and <laughs> because they get a real kick out of it um and then so now is the next segment and the next segment is um talk about things that i like besides tv shows so to give you a little bit of a to give you a little bit of a backstory, um, I talk about, like, if, if, if you've been on my channel recently, you'll know that I started doing these TV reviews, um, and, you know, I've, I've been, like, reviewing TV shows and stuff, and I've been talking nonstop about TV shows and stuff like that, um, but I feel like this would be a good idea to talk about other things besides TV shows. And a, a really amazing thing that I really like to talk about um, is video games. And I, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess I could talk about movies as well. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about movies first because that's not really TV shows, you know, like it's, it's, it's just movies. Um, I'm not a big movie person. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, like I've... I've seen some movies that I've actually really enjoyed, um, but I just, like, I don't go to the movie theaters that often, because they never have anything that I really want to see that would be worth going there and blowing out my eardrums for, so, um, I prefer to just stay home and to just rent the movie on TV or something. Or watch it whenever it comes out for free on TV because there's there's always at, at some point it always is on those like those movie channels you know it releases to them and all that so um, but yeah and uh, so I uh, I was like really impressed. Um, with a couple of movies, um, and the last movie that I actually saw, um, was, you know, like, in the theaters was Jurassic World, the first one, and I really loved that. I, I honestly, I don't know why they made a second one, I haven't seen the second one yet, but the first one, I really liked, and as somebody who, I, I preferred, like, I, I kind of grew up with Jurassic World, sort of, um, when I say grew up, like, like, I didn't, like, grow up, grow up with it, I just, um, like, it was just, uh, like, those movies were, like, the movies that we watch as kids, basically, and, um, you know, and I know that I'm still a little bit of a youngin', but, you know, like, I, I still, um, I, I still prefer watching the older movies because they have something to them of substance. 
And, you know, and, you know, like, I've, I've never really been into Star Wars. Um, I mean, I prefer the, the classical, uh, <clears throat> movies that they've made, um, because those movies will always have a special place in my heart. Um, because it was before they decided to bring the Star Wars trend back. And I honestly prefer those older movies, um, because I just liked them more. I mean, I haven't seen any of the new ones yet, um, but, like, a lot of people aren't really happy with them. And so, like, they, like, they just, they've gotten too out of hand with how many they're making. Like, it seems like every December we're getting a new movie, which is fine. But it's like, you'd think that they would take some time, like, take a couple of years to actually work on the movies instead of just, like, pumping them out. Um, I, I prefer when they actually, like, work on them for a couple of years. Um, that, to me, is just, like, the best thing ever. And, um, and so... I, I, I just, I don't know why, but I, but I just feel like it's always one of those things where, you know, older movies have been much more successful than the newer movies, and that's because the newer movies are just very cheap, and this goes for any type of movie you watch. Um, I, so I, I haven't watched the new um, Star Wars movies, but I have wanted to watch The Mandalorian, but my internet isn't really that good, so, but I, I really do plan on watching it at, at some point, um, I know that a lot of people like that, and I know that's not really a movie, but still, I think a lot of people are liking the Baby Yoda, um, stuff and it I, I think that that's really cool so i i do like movies but i don't like going out to the movie theaters i i prefer not to honestly i think that's just because i've never really liked going to the movie theaters i don't um because it's like all right so in case you don't know i have autism okay and um i don't really like loud sounds that much i can't really like i'm i'm, I'm not going to break into tears over loud sounds but i just prefer like if i if i don't have to listen to anything extraordinarily loud then i don't want to you know like i i like if if i can avoid listening like listening to um loud sounds I will, um, I'll, I just will avoid it at all costs. Um, and so that's, that's very interesting. Um, I, I think I'm, like, really impressed that, you know, I mean, like, like, I, like, as I got older, like, like, as I get older, it's just, I prefer not to go, you know, but, like, if I was going to take somebody out, like, for, like, a date or something, I, yeah, sure, definitely. Um, hmm, let's see. Let's talk about video games. Uh, because I, for those of you who don't know, I play Minecraft, and I play quite a bit of Minecraft, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've came out with a couple of texture packs. I'm still working on those texture packs, by the way. Um, and, you know, um, so, so that's really interesting. Um, you know, I, that I get to do that, and that I get to, um, accomplish things, and all that, um, and, you know, so, that, that is actually, like, very interesting, very, and, you know, and so, you may be asking, well, well, Blue Moon, what do you do? Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm your host, Blue Moon 34 team. Sorry, I, f I forgot to, uh, yeah. Uh, what do I do? Well, I, I, uh, 
I have this amazing group of people that I play Minecraft with. I, I actually have a couple of groups of people. Um, so I play Minecraft with uh, some of my friends from the 360. And, but I, I don't really play the 360 that much anymore, I'm not gonna lie, um, but I get the chance, you know, to play the Bedrock, and I don't, I don't hate the Bedrock edition, but it's not my favorite edition, but there are some things that I really do like on that version that you just really can't overlook, um, that's like one of the biggest things ever. Um, another thing, though, is that I play on the Java edition. Uh, I, I, I think it was around, like, what, 2018 when I joined the Friends of Folksville server. Um, yeah, I, I, I believe it was, like, around 2018. Uh, and, um, like, I think it was in August. A few days, like, I think I joined, like, a, like, on that day that the Friends of Oaksville server came to be a thing. That's, yeah, that's, that's when I joined. Uh, in case you don't know, um, the Friends of Oaksville server is, uh, a spin-off server of Folksville, which, uh, can't be updated anymore, unfortunately, because of the way updates work on Minecraft Java Edition. But <clears throat> I, I will say that the folks villains are still amazing people. Um, uh, yeah, like just yesterday, not yesterday, a couple of days ago, uh, my friend Glit and I, uh, aka Legit Glit, she, uh, she helped me, uh, work on the design for the public skeleton farm. Um, now, in case you don't know, uh, this server is a private server. So you have to go on to Criddle or maybe even Bobby's channel, um, to be able to get your 50 hours and then you're able to join. Um... And so that's, that's really interesting, I think, and, um, but it's, it's well worth it, because it, you know, the reason why, like, I, listen, I've, I've, kind of a rant moment, I've, I've told my Xbox 360 friends that they should join the Friends of Folksville server, um, and, you know, and, you know, get their hours in, and then they're able to join, and, you know, one of the biggest things that pops up is why do I have to wait 50 hours just to be able to get on the server? And I'm going to tell you this. It's because Criddle wants you, like, wants to get, what's the word, acquainted with you and wants to get to know you. And because you know how people are, there's going to be trolls out there. And so, um, she wants to get to know you better before she lets you on the server. And it's actually goats that lets you on the server, but, um, you know, so, but they are very amazing people. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go check Criddle out and Legit Glit, um, out because they, you know, and Bobby Ginto as well, uh, because they, they all have amazing content, uh, and it's it's well worth your time um and you know and so you you do have to be a little bit active you know like active enough to where like she can get to know you and you can get to know her and honestly like it won't it won't take long to get into this amazing community because um like i think the thing that really won me over was well, first of all, here's here's a little thing about Twitch. I prefer the lower end streamers, the the people who only have like 15 viewers per stream. I prefer those people because they seem a lot more genuine, 
and they they seem like people who are like like maybe like 20 and below are very genuine people and um even more than that as well um but the the higher the like the higher the viewers are the more generic the streamer gets like you know what i'm saying you know and so it's like there's like a lot of like streamers that are doing really well on twitch and yet like their content is just very generic they like they just come off as like being very boring and you know with with criddle you don't have to worry about that because she is growing but at a very steady pace that everybody can follow you know and i think that that's really cool that you know like there's still streamers out there they're like sheryl sakura and criddle and legit glit miss esri um bobby dinto you know those those people who actually who care about their viewers um and who aren't entitled generic people um and and that's just naming a few like there are lots of streamers that i follow that i appreciate and you know and so they they appreciate the company as well um but one thing that really like that i got really invested into was how legit glit uh she's kind of the one that like really got me into the folksville server um because i can remember she was talking about something that was like that was really interesting and i i i kind of wanted to just hop on and and like i like i i said oh that that really sucks you know like I, like i started talking to her uh on the on the chat and like to me it, it was kind of like an instant connection where like i just instantly felt like i was talking to like like one of my friends you know and because like she's a very loyal person and she'll she'll doubt herself a lot but she's a very loyal person um and you know she's just so kind hearted they're, they're all very kind people um you know and so i i i just like instantly like fell in love with that conversation i mean listen we're we're just friends okay we're just friends all right um just you know but like that's what made me fall in love with the server even more was that i could have those types of conversations that felt very real um and i i, I can't have those types of conversations in real life i'm i'm an introvert i i i I don't like going out to places. I like staying indoors. Um, I, I just, I'm not a big fan of like going out to parties and stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's just meh. But you know, but yeah, I'm very active online and I feel like I have like a confidence online because there's, you know, like I don't have to feel like people are judging me all the time, you know? I think, and I think that's like the best part about it is that like, I, I never feel like I'm being judged, you know, um, and, and, and that's, that's a really amazing thing, and of course, like, Criddle is, like, a very, like, open person about everything, and, and, like, here's, here's a little story about how I found Criddle, um, so one day, I was going through the games on Twitch, and I, I, I wanted to see who was streaming Minecraft, and so I was going down the list, and, I, I just couldn't find anybody that was interesting and and then like I kept going down and down and down and I finally found Criddle and so okay so I, I clicked on the stream and I, I didn't I didn't even know who Criddle was at the time and I was like okay this I can sort of get behind she's you know because she, she started talking and you know she's just she was just so natural you know and she she still is very natural and i think that just made me fall in love because like with the with just everything with with, with the foxillians and with the server and like the fact that 
even though I didn't know who these people were and I don't know them personally, I still felt like I had like a really gigantic connection with them. Like it's like they were like family that like I just didn't know existed. And then I like I, I finally, you know, figured out stuff, you know, and like I, I figured out um who they were and you know and you know, and I, I was hesitant at first because I was like, okay, well, is this some, like, am I seriously going to want to wait 50 hours to get on to this server? Like, is it really worth it? And so I didn't follow her right away, though. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of checked in on her and then I, you know, like, for like a couple minutes and, and then I left uh, and tried looking for other people, and I, I clicked on a couple of other people, they, they didn't seem interesting, and then I, I saw her again the next day, and I, I clicked on her, her, cha uh, her, vid uh, channel, and I, you know, and I just really, like, just got into it, you know, and, and then, like, that's, that's the day when Glit was, like, like, just, you know, typing away, you know, and stuff, and I'm like, wow, this person, you know, and I, I, I honestly was like, wow, these people are just, like, Glit, I thought, was, like, older than me, like, because she has outstanding vocabulary compared to me, and, like, I mean, it's, it's really, like, great vocabulary um and so i was like wow these people must be older than i would like would have imagined um but no 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 they were not older they were actually reasonable ages um and so i followed criddle and i got my 50 hours in uh and I joined, and I haven't looked back, honestly. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of thankful that I gave Criddle another chance, because if, if, I, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, and, you know, you'd be surprised how much this community will change you in a good way. You know, it, it, it's just, oh, it is amazing. It really is. Um, and I, I'm, I'm just really proud of just everything, you know. <clears throat> I'm proud of uh, the server. I'm proud of everybody on the server. They're doing an amazing job. And Goats also helped me out as well with the technical stuff for the like skeleton farm i'm one of those people where it's like i don't really bring a whole lot much like a whole like i guess i'm one of those people that i don't really bring a lot to the table when it comes to me and and and, and the server um so I, I i've been trying to like give and give and give and give and give uh instead of taking i um you know, and so I'm constantly doing things for the community. I'm constantly trying to better improve things for the community. Um, and, you know, I, I, I try really hard to just try to contribute, you know, something. Um, but, you know, they're, they're all just very sweet people, you know, and um, They've been doing this a lot longer than I have, that's for sure. Uh, which is really nice. Um, and so, one of these days, I, I, I hope that eventually I can um, interview some of the folks, Philians, and, you know, like, really, like, get their opinions on things. And I, I think the first person would definitely be Glit, because she's a really great debater. She she loves to debate people, and, and, and that's what she said the other day. She was like, I love to debate people. And I'm like, yeah, that, that that's something that I would really like to see on the Bloomin' Podcast. Is just, you know, to actually get some really good debates. Um, I, I don't know if it would be political or not. Um, 
I'm going to try to keep politics out of the realm of the Blue Moon podcast, because it's, it's, I, I just don't feel like it seems fitting. Um, so, but we will talk about things that are debatable, um, you know, so it's, it's going to be nice to get her on and hopefully we, we don't know. I don't know how to book people for that type of stuff. And she's a very busy person. So, um, but she, she's really nice. Uh, and so now I want to talk about something that I hate and that's the J station situation. Um, and the Alexia situation. Um, so if you, if you guys don't know, if you've been on YouTube, uh, you may have known that I, uh, well, that Jay Station, uh, has posted some videos about his girlfriend being dead, allegedly. Uh, his girlfriend broke up with him. He's not dead. And I, I really don't think that they broke up, though. Uh, I was going to do a video on this on my channel, but I just was so angry, I couldn't bring myself to even speak about it. And it'd be, it'd become one of those things where it's like, the new harassment policy would come into play, and my channel would probably get taken down for it. So, uh, which is really, really difficult, you know, that's one thing I don't like about YouTube, is that you can't really have your own opinions. You have to have the generic YouTube opinions, you know, the the family-friendly opinions, if you will. Um, you know, and so that, that was one of those things where I was just like, wow, this whole situation is really fucked up in so many different ways. And here's here's how here's what I think. I think that all this is just a big ploy to get them money and views on YouTube. I don't know why they haven't been caught by YouTube at all. I don't know why they haven't even tried. Um, well, I I don't know why YouTube has even tried. No, sorry, I'm confusing myself. I don't even know why YouTube hasn't even tried taking down their channels yet, because, well, I mean, they're they're deleting the evidence now, but they they talked about some things on their channel. And listen, I I know that all of these videos that Jay posts are fake, um, but I and I I also think that for Alexia and the other person, Odom, is what is he's, uh, 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 Odom, I think is what he's called. Um, I, I honestly feel like this whole situation is just really fucked up. Um, and, uh, here's why. It's because we, we don't even know if Jay or Alexia are telling the truth. And technically, all three of them are really bad people. And what I mean by all three of them is there's, there's I'm Gay Station... There's Alexia, and then there's the cameraman. And I don't know how sick you have to be in your fucking mind to want to film those videos. I, 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 don't, I don't even know, like, okay, like, say all you want about fucking J-Station, right? But that person to fucking film that and to be, to be completely okay with that and to be completely in with that... They're all, they're all horrible human beings. Horrible. And, and, and that's, and, and, and that's, that's the truth. They're all very horrible people. And I, I feel like when people talk about, um, about Jay, uh, they, they don't mention how, like, how horrible, like, it's, it's not just Jay. It's, it's Jay, it's the cameraman, and it's Alexia. Everybody's in on this. Everybody. And honestly, I feel really bad for Alexia's parents because it's like they don't deserve all this, like all the, all the messages that they're getting about. Oh my God, she's that a, like, like that's their daughter. Like I, I don't care how how twisted you are, that is their daughter. And and like that, like that to me, like if if my daughter was in on that, I would not be happy at all. I'm sorry. See. 
see, that's why I didn't want to bring this on my channel, is because I, I just, I hate that we have to go this far, we have to stoop this low to get views. And before anybody talks about, um, the, the whole thing about how he, how he flew over there to the miner's house, uh, okay, here's, here's the thing. That girl from Texas obviously invited him over, okay? That's on her. Like, if, if you were scared to invite him, then why did you invite him over? Why? Um... They both looked like they had a really fun time, and that's a problem. That's that's an even bigger problem, in my opinion, is that, like, a lot of people don't even think to even just fucking think for two fucking seconds that, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't post this, or maybe I should not do this, or, or like, maybe I shouldn't do this. Like, they, there's, like, no filter anymore. There's, there's no filter, like, there's, like, there's no filter for anybody anymore on YouTube. It's just, oh, let's post the videos, let's post the videos, let's post the videos, blah, 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 blah. There's like, there's, there's, there's no, oh my God, if, if I post this video, people are gonna hate me. Like, I, I feel like I'm the only one that has that opinion. And it's like, I feel bad for the teenager, don't get me wrong, because she's just a teenager. But she should have known what she was getting herself into when she invited him over. Like, that's, like, that's, you know, and the fact that they're, like, those people's parents weren't, in, like, weren't fucking, oh god, this, this is turning my brain. Um, but here's, here's my problem, though. I don't believe anything Jay or Alexia says, or even the cameraman, I don't even believe anything those three say. Because they are horrible human beings, regardless of what they do. They are horrible fucking human beings. Hate to, hate to, con like, not contradict, but hate to circle back. But they are horrible fucking human beings, and let's just get that straight. Um... So, I, I just wanted to set that straight, and so that's why I didn't want to make a video on it, is because... There's, there's really no need to make a video on it. So many other people have made videos on it. It's, it's, it's out of my hands at this point. Um, so yeah, eventually I will interview guests. Um, anyways, uh, I think that is it for this week's episode. I, I know I'm cutting it a bit short, but I have a dentist appointment today. But by the time you're seeing this, it'll be today. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, it is currently January 31st. I, I need to make a video um, about cr uh, Criminal Minds. Uh, and then I, I got to, you know, do chores and stuff. So... But thank you for joining, uh, for joining me this episode. Um, I, I, I want to again say a special thanks to, uh, to Anchor for again giving me this platform. I appreciate it. And I, I really, 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 really hope that this can take off again and that we can have these little conversations and, um, so, so tune in next week for some more fun, and hopefully it will be longer. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this podcast, thank you, and I will see you guys next week. Have a nice week.